Well, hi everybody, Hellcrax here, just doing a little update on what I finished here. I got this uh, painting uh, commission finished up. There's a bunch of Reaper bones. Oh, what do you call them? Dwarves. Wow. Reaper bones. All right, let's start with the big guy here. This is a Frost Giant, a.k.a. Dwarf Giant. Finished him all up. You can see he's got all kinds of nice little details in him. These things are not that expensive, too. It's like if you want a giant that's pretty decent for a 28 mil game, just go to Reaper. Find them out. It's like they're only like 10 bucks. 10 to 15, somewhere in there, for a lot of these. They look nice. And lots and lots of detail. You know, they're a little flexy, but hey, you know. Works good. Put a little bit of primer on them and go to town. So that's the Dwarf Giant, a.k.a. Frost Giant. Here we have a dwarf on a bear. This is unbearable. It's a grizzly rider for a dwarf. Let's see. Pretty nice little models. And they're all flexy, but, you know, it's like, doesn't matter there. And here's a dark miniature. This is a Reaper's also, but this is a metal one. This is a Necromancer. Well, with a black velour outfit here. A little glowy eyes. Since it was so big, you know, it's like kind of a small diorama. So I put them on a 40 mil base. And then we have the two like mimics. So if you watched any of the video, early videos of these guys, you can see you got them all finished up here. There's nice wood grain texture in them. And they got the big chopper mouth there. Pretty cool. And then we have freaking frack here. We got these two guys, two identical miniatures. One's in red. The other one. And the other one is in blue. Yeah, they're not bad. And then we have three. Well, let's do the pack rat guy. A pack rat. A hexapod. So it's got carries around all the it's like a tinker, almost like a little bit of everything carrying in and around. And we got uh, a leader type. Okay. Big old two handed hammer, war hammer. A lot of them got the little bed rolls and stuff on the backs. Another one. There are a lot of good details in these models. They're only like a couple bucks. You know, they go to your local, uh, it's like my local shop has a whole wall of these things. And they're like three three to five dollars depending on the size of the model for the for the most part. There's like a little thief wearing a cloak. <clears throat> Mr. Wizard, Warven Wizard. Did him up like Gandalf. Have to have somebody pointing someplace like got a nice little guy, he's got a little crossbow, and a 
There's a lot of warrior types in here. And we got three of these. Uh, where's the third one? Is. And you see, they're all slight, well, there are slight differences in them, but overall they're pretty close to being identical to each other. The big difference was I did with all these was the beards, slightly shades of reddish beard. One's a little darker, lighter, and going toward strawberry blonde. <clears throat> Another guy with a hammer. We got a warrior type. There's a few of them with shields. Most of these guys are weird. So like plate mail armor. Except for a few of them here. It's like this guy here. He's got a he's like a hunter. He's got a little butcher hunt. And a pistol. And he's got his little pipe in there. And we got a warrior type here. Carrying two weapons. And he's a little more leather on his this guy. Went with a lot of earthy tones, not overly bright. Most of the warmth colors come from the leathers, the reddish leathers and skin. And then you add a little bit of uh, like greens and blues. With a few reds tossed in there, because most of the stuff leather is reddish spectrum, so you don't have a lot. Now this guy's like an executioner; he's wearing black. He's almost like a mutant dwarf. He's got some tusks, or I'm not sure if that's part of his uniform coming down or what. Showing, but and last but not least, another war. It's almost like a berserker in a way. But that's everybody. That's the whole kit and caboodle. They're pretty decent setup. You know, when you look at everything, it's like this guy right here. You know, if you see it on the base, there's a goblin on the base right there that's got stepped on and squished. He's kind of squished into the ground a bit. He got mangled. Kind of a dioramic effect on the base there. But it's uh, balsa with Sculpey Putty that's over top of it just to fill it in and give it some places to set down in. But, yeah. Nice little uh, force when it comes to dwarves. Hope you guys like it. I uh, spent a couple weeks working on it, and I do enjoy painting fantasy miniatures. There's a lot of, it just took me a while to do it, because comparatively to a lot of armies, when you're doing rank and file where everybody's painted the same, everybody practically in this army was painted up totally different. So that takes a lot longer, which you have to work on laying out a paint scheme for pretty much every single miniature so that takes a little bit of thought and slows down the process a little bit now if it was like i said all rank and file identical you just get on assembly line and you can have them done quickly but i do enjoy the challenge all right well i uh, hope you guys like it we'll talk with you all later how great